you so much for joining me on Rachel Academy. Welcome to my world, the place to be to help you launch, run, and grow yourself a highly successful business. In today's topic, we're going to talk about seven surefire ways for overcoming chronic procrastination. Oh my gosh, yes, that word procrastination. I have struggled with procrastination. I'm sure some of you out there listening to the sound of my voice have struggled with procrastination. I remember when I moved into my offices and studio just over eight months ago and I was so excited, I picked up the keys and I was like, you know what, this is going to be done within two months, tops, the whole decorating of five rooms and all the furnishing and everything is going to be done within two months, tops. And long behold, six months later, I had wholly managed to finish two rooms. The overwhelming stress and thought of everything I had to do from knocking down walls, from plastering, from stripping out carpets, from choosing wallpapers, from choosing finishings was quite overwhelming. And so because I was thinking about it so much, I fell into a chronic procrastination and I actually didn't do nothing for three months. Yes, I didn't. I'm sad to say I didn't do nothing for three months. And then I learned about the seven surefire ways of techniques I'm going to teach you how you can overcome chronic procrastination. If you have a project that you want to finish, if you want to get your business into a different stage, you want it to grow, you want it to expand, but you're feeling stressed, you're feeling overwhelmed, and you suffer maybe with a little, maybe tiny little bit of chronic procrastination, I'm going to share the seven tips and I hope that it will help you get started and it will give you that fire off your backside that you need to help you achieve your dreams. So let's get started. The first tip and technique of what I did to help me overcome my procrastination is write it down. Write your plan of action, write your goal down, simple as it may sound. But we are, as human beings, work in lots of different ways. We need to engage our mind, we need to engage our physical emotion when it comes to us achieving our goals. One without the other will not work, and this is something that I've learned. So yes, I might have goals, I might have some visions, I might have some dreams in mind, but until I actually physically get a pen and paper down, and write it down, it's not going to work. So it's very important that you take out some time to sit down in a quiet place, in a quiet room, and write your goals down. Second tip is chunk it out. Chunk the overwhelming um, goal or plan of action that you have for your business into small bite-sized pieces. Like I mentioned earlier on, I was so overwhelmed and stressed with my business and the thought of all the things that I had to do that I didn't actually do anything and I just literally procrastinated for three months. But when I sat down and took up some time to write everything that I needed to do in, let's say, the studio of, you know, I needed to get some paint, I needed to um, plaster, I needed to get an attrition in, I needed to get new carpet. I started listing down everything I needed to allow me to be able to make the offices and studio function in a good way, then what I did was I broke it down, I chunk sized it to small sized pieces to enable me to achieve the overall part of the business and of the project that I needed to do. So chunk it down into small sized pieces and what you will find that when you do that, you will look back over your list and you literally will start ticking off a project bit by bit and then the whole project will end up being finished. Third tip to help you overcome chronic procrastination is pick the most important part of your project first, okay? What we tend to do is when we are overthinking what we need to do, we end up putting something that's actually not important at the top of the list. That's why it's important to follow the steps I've just shared with you. First is write it down. When you write it down, then you can see on a piece of paper that maybe your first one that you wrote down as number one important thing actually isn't that important. And number three is actually more important than number one. A great question I ask myself is, if I had two hours today to put it into my business, what would I do first? 
So if I put an urgency, I kind of narrow down the focus. If I had two hours to give to my business today, what would I focus on first? And this will allow you to help you put at the top of your list the most important thing to you and your business. Fourth tip to help you overcome chronic procrastination is get an accountability partner. This is a good tip. It definitely worked for me really, really well. Obviously, I had my husband, which I'm absolutely blessed that I had. And, you know, he kind of gets on with his own thing and allows me to get on with my own thing. But what I did was I brought him into the mix and I allowed him to get involved in the project of, you know, finishing and doing the studio and the offices. And so I got him involved in choosing um, paints and choosing furniture and what I should do first and what he would think would work. And this was very good to, to help me build an accountability partner to help me finish my project. And I will say for you is that you should choose an accountability partner, someone that's not going to judge you if you um, don't achieve the goal, but also someone that will kick you up the butt to help you um, achieve that goal. So an accountability partner that will help you see your goal right from the beginning stages right to the end. This will help you overcome chronic procrastination. The fifth tip is put your money on the line. This works <laughs> really well and it definitely worked for me. So what I did was I got my family involved in my studio and offices project of redecorating and obviously getting ready to launch. It's not finished yet but we have probably about two months left and we're going to be doing a launch party which I'll be doing a video and I'll be showing you guys you know the whole stage of us getting open which I'm so looking forward to but put your money on the line is a great tip so what I did was I told my children what I want to achieve um, and when I want to achieve it by and if I didn't achieve it they would be getting some extra pocket money and you should have seen their faces when I make the suggestion to them and you've seen my face when I made a suggestion, but I knew that if I didn't do it, I was going to be short for of maybe 15 to 20 pounds. So that gave me the motivation to make sure that I achieved the project and when I said I was going to achieve the project. And this is a great tip for you, you know, to help you overcome chronic procrastination. Put your money on the line. Sixth tip is picture it done. You know, visualization is a great tip and it's worked for me definitely in growing my business and expanding my business. From my bedroom office to now owning my own studios and offices, is I visualized it. It took 14 years to get me to the stage, but when you visualize, what it does, it stimulates the mind and it stimulates your emotions. You know, when I use visualization, I use pictures, I go online, I spend, you know, 10 to 20 minutes looking at, you know, scenery, looking at surroundings, especially when I was looking for a property to um, lease that for my studio and my offices. It took me a whole year to find the property, but I was constantly visualizing the bigger picture, focusing on the bigger picture and looking at what I wanted to achieve. So I would look at furniture, I would go to furniture, furnishing shops, I would look at um, go to BQ and look at paint. I was getting involved, get my emotions involved. I was looking at the bigger picture. I was picturing the whole um, project being done from the beginning right to the end stage. And this motivated me and it took me away from the procrastination of just not doing nothing and seeing the overwhelming picture. But I did this at stage six, not stage one. So obviously after I've written it down, after chunking it down to small bite-sized pieces, then I was able to literally picture the whole project being done from beginning to end. And last but not least tip to help you um, overcome chronic procrastination is build momentum. Once you get started, once you get up from your lazy self, let's be honest, <laughs> once you get up and you start getting things done, it's important that you keep the momentum. So once you've written your goal down, once you've written down what you want to achieve in your business, what you want to achieve in your brand, what you want to achieve, could be a personal development goal, keep momentum. Make sure that you write a calendar, put a structure, put a system in place that you do something. It doesn't have to be something big, but something small every single day. 
Let me take, give you an example for me. When I started um, going into the studios and offices and started, you know, taking down the wallpaper, you know, there was five rooms to do. So what I did was I said to myself, if I couldn't finish one room, so long as I, throughout the whole week or two weeks, I was stripping down wallpaper. And that was my project for two weeks, stripping down wallpaper before I even did anything. And so I kept the momentum going and I kept the vision going, I kept the big picture in mind and this literally helped me get to the stage of where I am right now to having two months left to I launch. I've been sharing with you seven surefire ways to help you overcome chronic procrastination. Hopefully what I share with you will help you overcome your procrastination in whatever project or goal you're wanting to achieve. Thank you so much for taking out the time to join me on Virtual Academy today. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it and why don't you subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll be the first to get any new updates of any videos, any background behind the scenes tips and videos back to your inbox. I'll see you same time, same place next week. Take care lovely. Bye.